Hey everyone, this is Michelle from Top 40 Strings, and I'm back! For those of you that are new and you don't know what I mean by I'm back, if you haven't noticed, I haven't posted a new video in almost a month. And the reason is because I have been vacationing and taking a trip in the beautiful Florence of Italy. And it was an amazing trip. I was so inspired by the, the artwork and everything out there. I mean, it is the birthplace of the Renaissance, really. And I wish that I could have taken you all there with me. But I did take some pictures, so if you were following me on Instagram, you probably saw some of the pictures that I randomly posted. In terms of my favorite thing on the trip, I would have to say, what was my favorite thing on the trip? I completely forgot. Ah, I had something in mind and I can't remember. Oh yeah, I remember. There was an awesome moment where um, there are actually a lot of artists that are busking and, and performing out on the streets in Florence and I loved that and it kind of made me wish that I had my instrument to play. And there was this violinist that would always play right outside the street where I, I was staying. And so one day I walked by and I was thinking, oh, I want to give him a little bit of money. So I, you know, gave him a little bit of change and he didn't speak any English, but I just said, I just kind of like did this, like point out that I am a violinist as well and I really appreciated what he was doing and so he just handed me his violin. He was like, here you go. And I was kind of shocked for a second because I didn't think he understood me, but you know, he, he let me play his violin. So I played a little bit right there on the street and it was amazing. So I, I just love that, you know, even though we didn't speak the same language, but we were able to communicate through music. So that was probably one of the highlights of my trip. Another one was I got to go to this place called Cinque Terre, which means five lands. It's so, it's such a unique and beautiful place because it's basically along the coast and along the mountains, you have these five little towns and you're supposed to be able to hike through all of them, but most of the paths were closed except for the most difficult path. So my friend and I went ahead and, and hiked through that and it was amazing. Oh my goodness. It was such a beautiful trail and it was dangerous because if you like look over um, to your left, you would just see that, you know, like it's basically a cliff and you could just fall. But the, the path itself wasn't too hard. I mean, I wouldn't say like my life was in danger or anything, but I had so much fun doing that. It was just amazing for my physical well-being and emotionally just to like be able to be out there in the nature and to see these these towns from far away I mean I'm probably just like talking and you're like I have no idea what you're talking about but hopefully the pictures with the pictures you'll see what I mean it was just gorgeous and amazing and I just love the trip so much and that was probably one of my favorite parts. So I know some of you are wondering, well, hey Michelle, where's your new video? Why isn't that out yet? Where are the tutorials, the, the teaching stuff that you were going to put up there in July? And I know I said I was going to do that. And the truth is I was expecting that once I got back from my trip, I just need one or two days to recover from jet lag and then boom, I'd be like back on track to making new videos. But being on that trip really inspired me so much and it kind of overwhelmed me with the ideas of what I wanted to do. It made me think about what it is that I want to do as a musician and as a teacher. So some of you don't know this, but I'm actually a violin teacher. That's what I do for a living. And so the idea of making those tutorial videos really did excite me and I, and I want to do that. But there's also a side of me that's a perfectionist. And I think during the time that I was away on my trip and being inspired, I just started to like overwhelm myself with these thoughts of how to get these videos to be perfect and right. And, and you know, there's a bit of me that has a fear of failure. And so because of that, I'm kind of right now like immobilized, unable to to come up with these videos. And, and even with my, my pop videos, I'm kind of feeling just still exhausted from from the ones that I did before, even though it's been, I know, almost a full month. I think I might have burnt myself out a little bit um, with all the work that I put into it because something you have to know is I don't really know much about video editing or even sound editing, you know, all the stuff that you hear. I basically record all the sounds that you hear. I know, like, you know, some people, there are some awesome other violinists on YouTube and elsewhere and people who do violin covers and they either have a band or they have people they work with or they use like a track maybe that they found from somewhere else to play in the background while they play the violin. But one of the things that I do is I, I record every single thing that you hear, you know, every layer. So sometimes I've got like 15 tracks of, of background music or I, I create the midis on my own. So 
it's really exhausting work. I mean, I do love it, but I think I've reached a point where I'm just so exhausted that even thinking about making a cover, a new cover, just overwhelms me. And being on the trip to Florence really inspired me to want to create more things to not necessarily always be doing covers, which I, I do love. I do love covers and I know that's really the way that I have found you guys, but I don't want to just do that because, you know, it wouldn't be something that I can call completely my own. I want to create something that is just me. But when I think about that and where to start and then with my perfectionist as a musician, it just everything like in my brain goes ah, and I'm like on overload because there's just so much to think about. So what I'm trying to say is it's not that I'm going to like purposely or try to take a break, but I want to be more deliberate in what I do and not necessarily focus on speed, like getting out videos every week or something because of, you know, all the ideas that I have and um, how I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I probably won't be working at a pace that I used to work at. I mean, I really don't know how I did it, especially when I did like two or three videos in a week. That's I don't know and on top of like working full-time already it really took dedication and I am still dedicated but I just want to be focusing more and more of my energy on creating something completely from scratch so hopefully you're not too disappointed I'm not saying that I'm not going to do any more covers but that I'm gonna be trying to focus on other things as well I just wanted to tell you guys because I didn't want you to be like Oh, Michelle hasn't posted anything in a while. Maybe she's given up on the channel or she doesn't care anymore. That could not be further from the truth. I, I care so much about this channel and about making music. Sometimes I think I care a little too much. I am definitely in it for the long haul and I'm just needing some time to process and think through things and think about what I want to do creatively. If you stick with me, I I will hopefully be able to create something that you can appreciate and enjoy as well. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. and. You know, I will still be around to respond to comments and all of that. I know I've been away from that for a while just because I was traveling. It's kind of hard to respond, but I will be doing that. And if you have questions or you just want to chat and leave a funny message or something, I will definitely read it. And so, yeah, thanks for watching and I love you guys. Bye.